Welcome to our live training session number 43. We're going to be learning how to tune a K24 swapped Honda Civic using a Holtec Elite 2500. Let's jump into some details about this vehicle. We're going to find that it has a built K24 engine. The cylinder head is going to be a K20 cylinder head, ported from Drag Cartel. It has Drag Cartel 3.2 cams and upgraded valve train. On the bottom end, it has 12.5 to 1 forged pistons and connecting rods, so the engine is relatively simple. On the induction side of things, we have a Skunk 2 Ultra Series intake manifold that's been ported from 4 piston racing, 3.5 inch air cold air intake, and a 90 mil throttle body. Now on the exhaust side of things, we have a race header to a 3 inch cat back exhaust. Fuel side of things, we have ID1000s, an upgraded in tank fuel pump, external lines, and an external regulator. So the setup is relatively simple. We're going to be tuning it on E85 or ethanol based fuel. We have additional sensors installed, such as a fuel pressure sensor, oil pressure sensor, we have a trim pot sensor, we have a flat response knock sensor. We're going to be learning how to set all of those up and just making sure we have our fail safe protection features in place so we don't damage the engine while we're doing the calibration process. We're going to have a lot of things to cover, so let's jump into our live training session so we can learn how to create our base calibration file and get our live training started. Welcome to our live training session here with our Honda EG Civic with a K24 swap using Haltec Elite 2500. Now we just went over all the details of the vehicle. Let's jump into our Haltec ESP software so we can begin creating our base file to get the engine fired up and start our training tutorial. So moving into our Haltec ESP software here, we're gonna find that right now, I have my key on in my vehicle, so the vehicle's powered up, the Haltech Elite is powered up, I have the USB cable plugged into my laptop, that's also plugged into the Haltech Elite, so I haven't established the USB communications yet, we're gonna do that right now. So we're gonna go up here to the top, and click connect, disconnect, and we're gonna allow it to connect here, it's gonna take probably about a minute or so to connect and download all the information out of the Elite. Now, this Elite is brand new, it has the latest firmware, it was shipped from Haltech with a default 2500 elite file on it. So we're starting off with a generic file. We're gonna learn how to create a complete custom calibration based around all the input and outputs I have for this unique project. Um, we're gonna be importing some of our session information or the, uh, the uh, base information from a K20 base map from Haltech. Now, the base file and the plug and play harness that Haltech sells is for an elite 1500. This is an elite 2500. And I don't have the plug and play harness from Haltech, I actually created my own harness, and actually coming up on the screen, we'll talk about that real quick. I have the ECU header header plug or, or connection to wiring, and then from that that connection, I have to a Molex 32 pin twist lock connector that allows me to hot swap between various engine management systems. So I filmed this exact same vehicle on the AM Infinity. We filmed it on Link ECU Masters, and now we're gonna be doing it on Haltech Elite. So we're using one vehicle for multiple different training courses. Um, so we can go through that process and be very specific with this. I was fortunate enough to have this vehicle for a bit of time here, so I was able to establish building the harness out, creating my own inputs and outputs based on my wiring, and then documenting everything into an Excel spreadsheet, which we have available right here. I have this coming up on screen, so we're gonna reference back to this, building our file here in this video. This is gonna be an essential piece when you're building a harness. This keeps you organized. So what I've done here, I have the Acura pin, or the OEM pin here on the left-hand side. I have the function of that pin. Then I have my Molex connector, that's the 31 pin connector here, that's a twist lock connector. And then I have here the different engine management systems that we're using, and these are the pins that are gonna be associated here. Um, these are the pins that are associated with these functions. If we're kind of looking across here and traversing across, we can tie in, we can see here pin A12, the idle air control pulse with modulated, that's tied to pin 18, DPO, DPO1 here on the Elite. And then at the bottom here, there's additional sensors that I have here available. We have a Bosch knock sensor, 12 position trim pot. We have a fuel pressure sensor, oil pressure sensor, and AM wideband. So all of this has been documented to particular inputs. I've set them up on my jumper harness. So this just keeps me organized. This would be what you would want to go and create if you were going in and let's say you were taking a 2500 Elite and building your own custom harness and your own custom project. You want to document what you're wiring all the input and outputs to so that when you're building your file, or the tuner was gonna build the file, let's say you were just building the harness for someone and someone else was gonna tune it, they would know where to find everything. Otherwise, it's a major pain in the butt trying to figure out what pin goes to what function and it's just something you wanna avoid. Although there is ways to do it, this is much better to keep yourself organized and just get it out of the way. So that's what I've created here, this nice Excel spreadsheet. Um, I can provide this if anybody wants to look at it for reference sake, it's not really applicable to um, tuning a K-series, but it's just, again, for my unique project, what I've created here. So 
we will be referencing that and we need to know again the inputs and outputs to build the file so that is what um, that's that purpose of what it's going to be for here to keep myself organized now let's talk about um, some things that we can do here we're going to be importing the cam and crank pattern from the K series base file that's going to be using a, a plug and play harness from Holtec. So if you were to purchase an Elite 1500 and the plug and play harness for a K series specific, you'd be able to go in and just put their file, upload it right into the Holtec and start off with. Again, this, this is a unique application where we have to, we're using a K series, some of that information with the base map is relevant, meaning we can rely on the cam and crank pattern information. That's always the kind of the core of building a file out. We have to know that in order for the engine to even run in the Holtec to recognize what's going on as the engine's rotating around, where to fire the coils and injectors and everything that goes along with that. Um, we can borrow that and bring it into this file for an Elite 2500. Even though this file is a generic file, we're able to bring that information in. It's going to just kind of speed up the process. So we're just going to take a look at that here. But if we jump into setup, we jump into main setup here, we're going to find that things like engine capacity, it's 5,000 cc, or it's a setup for an eight cylinder engine here. This obviously will not start and run this engine. So we're not going to be able to do anything with this file. We have to build this file out. Again, this is going to be what you would have to do if you were building your own custom harness. If you're doing a plug and play supported application from Haltech, you'll be able to just take that file, start to upload it, and start to go through that process. So this is going to be a little bit more in depth uh, building our own custom application here rather than um, just using a plug-and-play application from Haltech, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to provide a bit more information here, especially to get into the situation where you have to build your own file. All right, so let's do this first. Let's go up to File. We're going to go into uh, Import Map. Now, in the Import Map here, this takes us into the Haltech documents um, into the ECU map folder here. If we look into our directory, we find that's our ECU maps. What we're going to do here is jump into the Honda folder, and then jump into the Integra folder here, and we're gonna find that we have K20 files that we have available here. So we're gonna take just the cam and crank information out of these files and import it into our existing generic file here. That'll eliminate us having to go and figure out what the cam and crank pattern and all that information is going to be. It's gonna speed up building this file. There's no reason to go in and essentially reinvent the wheel trying to figure out those settings. Haltech has documented it for us. This is a supported application from Haltech, meaning it's not gonna be some custom one-off application that Haltech's gonna have no idea what the patterns should be set at. This is going to be speeding it up, making it a little bit more simple. So I'm going to grab this last option here in this uh, file. We can see this part number here. Um, this should correspond to the plug and play harness that you'd be using with the uh, Haltec system. Um, so in this case, this would be that plug and play app for a Honda Integra DC5 K20. We'll just go here to open. We're not actually importing the file. We're just going to be, in, it's going to allow us to import specific portions of the file into our uh, 2500 here. So let's let it. Um, open up. It's going to be telling us this map is from an earlier firmware build. Um, this is, a, I think, 2.35 or 2.34 that I have in here right now. And the file here that we just took a look at was 2.18. So it's, it's a much older firmware build, but the file information is still relevant and we can still use it here. So let's go to OK. We'll say OK right here. We're going to go into a tables here, actually go into settings and calibration, into the engine. We can see under the trigger here, we have our trigger configuration, signal, home. We want to go and check all of these on here. And under main, we can grab in engine information, even the engine geometry here. We can just toggle all this on. We'll just toggle main on here. So if I toggle this here at main, it toggles everything into the subfolders. Same thing with trigger here, it toggles everything else on. Now I could go in and grab some of the other information within here um, for the setting configurations and the tables here, if there's anything specific from that file, I could also import it. Now I'm gonna just go and create all of my own custom tables and all of my own custom information. I'm only interested in just bringing in those core configuration details here that we just talked about. So the engine details, we could toggle everything on if we did engine, but we're not gonna do that. We'll just do main and trigger and get this information loaded in here. So we'll say import and we can say, uh, please select the import files to be imported into. This would be the elite default. That's that file that we have um, that we're working with right now. So this is the default Elite 2500 file. So let's go here and say import and allow it to import here. It's going to take a second to import it. Now if we jump back in here, we're going to find that we have to reboot the ECU. We'll wait on that. If we go to setup, we go to main setup here, we can see engine capacity it's showing us now. Uh, that's a 2000 cc. We can see the firing orders established. It's giving us an error here under fuels. Anything highlighted in the red is an error. Um, we're going to find that it didn't import every single detail. So for example here, the number of out injector outputs on our first stage of injectors. We only have one stage of injectors. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here.
If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here and you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.